Well, good morning. This week's Monday meditation as we continue to read through Psalm 119. We are going to read verses 33 through 48. And I trust it will be a blessing to you as you begin your week. Psalm 119, beginning in verse 33. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually, forever and ever, and I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings and shall not be put to shame. For I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. So again, as we read through Psalm 119, you notice that the emphasis is on the psalmist's response, reaction to God's word. Different words are used for God's word, testimony, statutes, promise, law. Uh, in these verses that we've read this morning, the refrain that I recognize is that the psalmist finds his hope in God's law, in God's promises. And so this week, I want to encourage you to live with hope, live with a confident expectation that God is near, that God will meet your needs. And when we look to God's word, we can have hope because we know God's promises are steadfast and true. Uh, people will let us down, even people that are the closest to us. And that's really the ones that hurt the most. But God will not. We can hope in his word. We can find delight in his word. We can trust in his promises, which are steadfast forever and ever. And let that word encourage you this week. God bless.